I think it might be time for a last April unboxing, so let's get it going. Hello friends, I'm Rosa, welcome. So today I have the last one of my April boxes. I'll admit, I kind of opened the Fairy Loot adult book off screen, <laughs> so whoops. I'll show it off over on Instagram, it's all fine. But today, the Owl Crate arrived. It's kind of funny that this is the last one to arrive and it's like that on a monthly basis, but they've also been the first ones to actually send them out. So it's just because I live in Denmark. It takes a little bit longer for the boxes to get here, but we have the April one, and I'm very excited to see what's in this box because I cannot remember anything. They kind of announced both the April and the May themes on top of each other. So I do not remember for the life of me what is supposed to be in this box. Although I think I remember the book, but like other than that, nothing. I can't remember anything. So very excited because it's all going to be surprising to me. I do have to say as a disclaimer that Alcrate did send this to me, so thank you first of all for sending it. I appreciate it a lot, but also because I'm rep with them, I do have a code, so you can use code ROSA, I think it is, for 15% off of your first subscription. I don't gain anything from that, it's just for your benefit. You can choose to use it or not, whether, like, whatever you decide to do. I'm not forcing you to use it. Feel free to if you want to. But thank you, Alcre, for sending this. And now we're gonna get started. Let the guessing games begin. Okay, so what's hiding in here? I wonder. I wonder. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, uh, we got more paper. All right, doesn't really show. That happens every month. <laughs> every month. It doesn't really show much. The theme is Relic and Ruin. I remember, no, Relics and Ruins, plural. I remember that though. Very excited for the next one because the book, it's gonna be their first time actually doing stenciled edges, which I'm excited to see how they're gonna do it because I feel like it's very different from book box to book box how they actually do edges, so. But as for the items, we're gonna save this one for last because it's the collector's item or collection item, I should say. But we have this, which, what is it? <laughs> Wait, are they? Are they dices? Dice? Dices. Dice. Dice. That's what they're called. But they have like symbols on them. Wait, are they Game of Thrones? Am I missing one? There might be a fourth one somewhere. I feel like, aren't there four houses? So we have Stark, Lannister, and also Targaryen. I'm pretty sure it's a Game of Thrones item. Otherwise, there's just an, a fandom out there with the exact same symbols. I don't know. Aren't those the house crests? Whatever they're called. Isn't it? Like, I feel like it is. I don't know what these are used for, but they feel nice, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Nice and sturdy and weighty. Are they paperweights? Like, I don't know what they are. Goblet stones? What are goblet stones? Oh! Oh, you put them in the freezer, and then you can... Reusable ice cubes. That is so cool. I did not know that was a thing. Perfect for the drink connoisseur. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Connors. Anyway, the Game of Thrones inspired goblet stones are sure to be the perfect cooling addition to your refreshments. Simply chill them in your freezer prior to adding them to a cold drink. Make sure to hand wash them before first use as well as in between uses. Not dishwasher safe. Repping the houses Stark, Lannister, and Targaryen and designed by Team Alcrate. These stones are made of food safe soapstone and can be used over and over again. That is so cool! I did not know that reusable ice cubes were a thing. Can you even see? Like, they're so small. <laughs> I like them. Also, I'm a huge fan of, I've only read the first book, but huge fan of the TV show, at least like until the last season. Yes, I'm one of those people. Um, so this is actually really cool. I want like shot glasses with, <laughs> with the house symbols on as well. That would be so cool, but probably not gonna get that from a book box though. So <laughs> I'm just saying. Next item, we have this, which feels nice, and what does it say? V.E. Schwab on the front. I did not see the quote, but it says, Scars are not shameful, not unless you let them be. If you do not wear them, they will wear you. And then on the front we have this, like, London malt, was it? The Scorched Bone? I think this might be from A Darker Shade of Magic. But what it is, I don't know, except you can use it and open it and put stuff in it. Designed with love by no one designs, okay. White London hinged travel pocket. A travel pocket. It feels very like nice that it just closes. 
but this is a darker shade of magic item. Embark on a journey to white London with our hinged travel pocket designed by No One Designs, inspired by a darker shade of magic. This is the ideal item to keep Antari tokens, coins, and trinkets as you roam between the worlds. So like for smaller items, you don't want to get lost or you don't want to get lost in your luggage. That's actually really handy. I would probably use this for like tampons or something. I'm gonna be very honest with you. <laughs> like, I feel like it's a good size for tampons, so. Then we have whatever this is. Story door, <gasps> oh, story doorways, right? That's a new collection item. So I think the first one is supposed to be Lord of the Rings inspired. It's probably like a hobbit door. And they're basically for just placing on your bookcases. So I am actually planning on getting extra bookcase space when I move. So I will <laughs> need like small items to fill out the gaps that I'm gonna have. We got like a, weighty thing and then oh i <laughs> turned it the wrong way <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing how do you how do you do it like this and then you can place it like yes so it doesn't fall over and in the front it says home is behind the world ahead and there are many paths to tread it's cute I mean, it's gonna take up a lot of space after a while. I'm kind of curious if they're gonna continue this shape or if they're gonna do like other door shapes as well because it's very obviously round because the Hobbit doors are round. But I wanna put it like this for now. That's actually good, okay. But this is designed by Ice Wreath and it says, enter the world of Middle Earth with this Lord of the Rings inspired story doorway designed with love by Ice Wreath. This is the first in a new ongoing collection we will be offering in our monthly boxes. Travel far and wide and display them on your shelves in front of book spines or stacks or as a bookend to hold many of the other stories you love to wander through. That is cute! I'm gonna find a spot for that somewhere. I have a lot of books that are basically wrapped in brown paper that look a little bit boring at the moment. It's gonna look perfect in front of some of those. <laughs> very, very nice. Gonna spice it up a little bit. And then we have, which is not so weighty, Bookmark kit. Oh, embroider. Okay, embroider bookmark. What do you mean? I have a. There's. Uh, I feel like they did something like this before, and I just don't know what to do with it. But at some point, I'm gonna sit down and figure it out. Today's just not that day. But like, there's a kit, an embroidery kit. Very cool. How do you use it? I don't know, but there's probably instructions somewhere. So this one is, like, a sword. A stained glass window, maybe? I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. That just made it worse, didn't it? Well, hmm. I don't know how else to show you. <laughs> well, hopefully the camera will pick it up. And the colors are red, pink, and olive green. There's this like metal frame. There are needles. Oh, and a tassel as well. And there's a QR code, so you can actually go. Oh, it's to make a bookmark. Oh, that's what it literally says. I only just realized this. So like the bookmark is going to be this size. <laughs> I don't know why I had to read it slowly for me to actually figure that out. Also, it's inspired by The Buried and the Bound, which was one of their books, I think, for January. This is cool. Some point when I have time, I'll do this and I'll probably add it in a vlog or something. I have a couple of like things that I can do, bookish things that I can do that I've gotten through book boxes. I'm gonna place this though because it's like all kinds of pieces, separate pieces. I'm gonna place this in the box on my shelves, but that's cool. I like the idea of DIY stuff in book boxes. I'm just very terrible at doing them, but it's a bookmark as well, so it's kind of usable for something, which is very cool. For it though, it says, created with love by Four Seasons Fox and inspired by The Buried and the Bound, this embroidery bookmark kit is sure to be a unique addition to anyone's bookmark collection. Very true! I don't have an embroidered, an embroidered bookmark. It features a beautiful piece of artwork that emulates the lush and darkness of forests and fae. It was a very, very pretty motif. Just want to say. Okay, am I missing anything? Or do, do, do. we have one more item, which is this. So I do not remember what the fandom is for this. Grimoire. Oh, that's probably Sorcery of Thorns. I just read that. I feel like... Oh yeah, it is. Okay, so they do these like... Every month they do these open like tomes that are pins. Very cute. Love the concept. And then you can open them. And there's like little hints that are like from the story and stuff. So in this one it says Library of Somersault. And then it says... <laughs> it's very small. Date. 
January 3rd, April 10th, and August 30th. And I cannot read the signatures because they're way too small, but I think the first one might possibly... Oh, it says Elizabeth, Nathaniel, and si Silas. Silas? Silas. I don't know what this is over here on the left, but I'm guessing it's Elizabeth's sword poker thing, you know. That's cute! I just read this, so like... This also has a little bit of a different shape because it does, it's not like fully closed, like, or it is closed, but it has like bumps out here. It got a little bit of its, bit of its own touch and I like the look of it outside as well. It's very, very dark and mysterious for some reason, like with the eye and stuff. But the grimoires in that book are also supposed to be a little scary. They're dangerous. So that's very cute. I see a theme. I mean, this looks green. It's also a little bit colorful. <laughs> but like as for the others, I do see a theme. It's nice. Matches the... Spoiler card as well. So, as for the book, we have, ooh, Silver and the Bone by Alexander Brack Bracken. And this speaks to, I know it's Arthurian, so it's not, it's not Vikings, but it speaks to my Viking, uh, my, my old, I'm Danish. <laughs> I was about to say my Viking blood, but I don't really have any of that. <laughs> like, not, well, ancestors, yes. But I like the, like, the whole, like, it looks old. You know what I mean, right? There's just something about like runes and stuff and like these like patterns. It speaks to me. I like it. It also has silver gilded edges. We're gonna open this up though because that plastic is probably super noisy and shines uh, the light is kind of catching it and stuff. I can see my blue sweater reflected in the silver edges, <laughs> which is a little bit much. So here is the look. We have like a matte dust jacket with some foil on the title and also this bit up here. It is a redesigned cover. The original looks like this. I could actually almost go get my another book, but I'm not gonna do that. It's <laughs> like, wait a minute, I can't say that. I have another edition of it, but I'm not gonna show it off um, just because I don't wanna spoil anything for anyone. We have a back quote that says stories are what are they always more beautiful than the truth so in this like kind of runic i want to call it rune like i don't know what you would call this font but i like it for this normally i don't actually love this font but i like it for this quite a lot going on in the cover but i think it works for this book and then we what oh i'm sorry i got like what the heck okay i'll show you because oh that's nice we have, I, I remember when I got my first book with artwork on the naked cover, I didn't like it, but it's really become one of my favorite things when it comes to customization. So I think, like, obviously printed and stenciled edges are like my top one, but I think I prefer artwork on the naked cover over foiling now. Like, I don't know what happened, but somewhere along the line, foiling just kind of lost me a little bit. I'm all for this. This is a very nice, very wintry, dark-ish vibe for the book as well. I feel like it works well with what I've read about the book too. And then it has, and this is really speaking to my heritage. <laughs> like, look at this. And again, I know it's a Thurian, so it's not, it's not Viking, but it like, this like old, it just speaks to me. I like it. I like it so much. It's so nice. Um, <laughs> foiled in papers on the back as well, or in the back with the silver edges as well. Like it just feels like it's, it, it's nice. It works together. And it's also signed with a bound in letter. So if you want to read this, I hope I'm not covering, no I'm not. If you want to read this, you can pause the video right here and do so. I'm going to be reading it afterwards, because otherwise I'll be sitting here for a while. There was a time when I would read out loud the letters, but I stumble on words constantly, so we're not doing that today. I will be reading the synopsis though, just had to check if it was actually in the dust jacket. But we also got inside dust jacket art, which they've gone all out, wow. Like what doesn't it have? I feel like it has it all. It does. Redesigned dust jacket, inside dust jacket art. There's something on the naked cover. There's customized end papers. It's signed with a letter and it also has funky edges. They're gilded, but that's a lot of customizations, wow. But um, we have inside dust jacket art that looks like this. I like the vibe. And it kind of looks like a little bit like they've purposely placed this bit here in the middle so you can reverse it if you want to. Yeah, because this will be in the front as well. Like this would be on, on the front here too, I think. Yes, cool, nice. It actually really makes me want to read this book. Also, I think it's the dragon that did it for me. I'm like, yes, dragons. <laughs> 
Give me dragons. And the unicorn! There was a unicorn as well, sorry. And rabbits, of course. Rabbits are cute too, but like a unicorn. This is a cool addition. I like it. It's it's cool. It's different. I like the uh, they do a lot of redesigned covers. They've been doing a lot of those lately, and I and I really like it because you end up with something that you just can't get anywhere else that looks vastly different from the original cover. But as for the synopsis, though, I read this out loud the other day, and I still cannot remember for the life of me. Tamsin Lark didn't ask to be a hollower. As a mortal with no magical talent, she was never meant to break into ancient crypts or compete with sorceresses and cunning folk for the treasures inside. But after her thieving foster father disappeared without so much as a goodbye, it was the only way to keep herself and her brother, Cable, alive. Ten years later, rumors are swirling that her guardian vanished with a powerful ring from Arthurian legend. A run-in with her rival Emrys ignites Tamsin's hope that the ring could free Cable from a curse that threatens both of them, but they aren't the only ones who covet the ring. As word spreads, greedy hollowers start circling and many would kill to have it for themselves. While Emrys is the last person Tamsin would choose to partner with, she needs all the help she can get to etch out her competitors in the race for the ring. Together, they dive headfirst into a vibrous nest of dark magic, exposing a deadly secret with the power to awaken ghosts of the past and shatter her last hope of saving her brother. So it's about... It's a stunning series opener. Oh, it's the first one in a series, right? Driven by love, revenge, and pure adrenaline. I have not read an Alexander Bracken, Bracken book yet, so I don't know which one will be my first one. I also have lore and... The Darkest Minds. So I don't know, let me know. Which one should I start out with? Not that I get to choose because I'll probably wrap this up and put it on my shelves. <laughs> but still, let me know anyway. <laughs> so, but this is cool, I like it. Oh, I'm covering it up. That is so not nice. Okay, let me just, so now you can see it. That was a cool box, I like it. I mean, the only thing I'm kind of like, will I get to use it is this, but because it turns into a bookmark, I'm very intrigued. As for the other items, we're going into summer, so these ones will be used for sure. This one, I feel, is, will be very helpful for, like I mentioned, um, <laughs> tampons. Yes, you get me, okay, you get me. <laughs> I love this, like, tome concept that they're doing, and I'm very excited to see what they're gonna do with future the future doorways as well. Very curious about that. So I would say overall a pretty cool box. Let me know what you thought though and let me know if you have read the book and what your thoughts are on that as well. But that is all I got for you guys today and this unboxing. That's been three in a row. That's a lot. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed them though. Now we're waiting for the May boxes and there will be, there'll be five. Oh gosh, I have a problem. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this one though. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this from me, but also videos like TBR videos and wrap ups and reading vlogs, all the other booktube stuff, definitely consider sticking around by clicking on the subscribe button. However, I'm gonna leave you to it now. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.